Oh, me, I should have leveled, huh? Oh, well. That was the thing I forgot. It's all right. We're pretty strong anyways. Like... Yeah. We're, we're almost at, like... We're in 40... Vigor and endurance and almost 40 in faith, so it's like we're good. Probably still will almost die to this boss though. How about a buff? Yeah. Soldier of Godric. Most frightening of all the bosses. I gotta say, though, it's great to just be cruising into New Game Plus as quickly as we have been in, like, the last few runs. Like, we'll get weapons where it's, like, really bad in New Game, for sure. Especially with bows and great bows and ballistas and crossbows. Like, those are all gonna be slow playthroughs. There's really not much you can do about them. The sorcery ones are probably going to be slow, too, at least until I figure out more what I'm doing. Because, like, having to go get the incantations and having to still, you know, you still got to upgrade the weapons. Figuring out the incantations, like, figuring out how to fight the bosses with certain spells and whatnot. That's uh, going to take some time. So I think those playthroughs will be slower. But melee weapons, like, as long as the melee weapons go fast, then I'm good, because, you know, out of all 308 of these weapons, like, probably 90% of them are going to be melee weapons. There are a lot of staffs, though. There's, like, 18. One hit to stagger, huh? Good night, Rick. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> Tree says no. I think if I do power stance, I'm going to lose this R2, which I kind of want. If I'm being honest. So I might not. I might still pick up the Star Fist and upgrade it, but like, I don't know if I'm going to uh, use it much. Although the jump L1 is probably the jump R... Actually, it's probably just the jump R1. It's probably just that. Yeah, it's tough. This is like an overhead slam, I think. This jump R2. Whereas the other one's kind of like a... Not that. I don't know. I think I'll still pick it up at least to see the moveset. Like, the, the jump R L1 is probably going to be this instead of that. All right, is the chariot coming this way now? It never does, but it did this time. Oh, that's bad. Sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it's like, yeah. Cool, yeah. Usually it doesn't come down this early, though. I don't know why. Oh, great. Yeah, this is gonna suck.
Oh, nope, he turned. I... okay. I have no idea what to do here. I don't know where the safe spots are. Well, there's one here. That was honestly super easy. I just did, I had, you know, barely any experience with uh, this corridor. With the chariot being here anyway. Bleed plus fire. What more could we want here? Oh my god, the freaking explosion, dude. I hate it so much. One jump, part two. That's it. That's all I need. Okay, we're good. I didn't grab the thing. Honestly, though, the starfish seems pretty good. Like, damage has seemed fine. Plus bleed. Like, like even without the bleed, the damage is pretty good. Those guys are, are weak to fire, though. But, I mean, if this is like a really good playthrough, this could be the fastest one. Although, Rankard might destroy that, honestly. We'll see. The ble Again, the bleed, bleed it for Rankard is going to be really good, but the fire portion of this is going to be really bad. I forgot to get this grace. That sucks. I actually really need that. I don't know how I forgot it. It's like the first thing I do. Otherwise, we gotta hoof it from a gills, the other side of a gill lake. We have nine sacred tears. We'll probably get the Irith one, we'll get the Bellum one, and we'll get maybe one in the snowfield. Or not, not the snowfield, but the mountaintops or something. Or maybe Altus. We'll see. And then golden seeds we'll just get wherever. Don't need very many. We only need like... 14? 13? I don't know. Something like that. Not that many. I don't think Melanin... I, I, I swear I tested it. I'm pretty sure Melanin does not show up there. I think she shows up at the one near... The ramparts before Castle Morin. Oh, I gotta change my title to hang on. We are no longer a new game. We have ascended. New game plus. Oh my god. This damage is... I don't know, this guy, this guy doesn't have a lot of health. I don't think he has a lot of health. Okay, man. Like, no charge R2. 
I can't get one off here. I can't get an R2 off, apparently. I think this armor's saving my butt, too. forward to the bloodhound thing too i've heard it's really good never used it but the uh i mean i've seen it i've the uh, ash of war is pretty cool there's a lot of playthroughs i'm looking forward to to be honest I'm looking forward to like doing some whips really any of them A lot of the magic playthroughs I'm looking forward to because I'm going to make it try to make them different every time. But, you know, I think in the end, like, especially for certain bosses, you kind of need to use like one or two spells. But I'm going to, you know, like there's a lot of bosses to try out different spells on. So I'm looking forward to that. Same with incantations. Uh, great swords. I think it'll be fun. Colossal swords, some of them will be fun. And then more colossal weapons. It's kind of weird how they just made, like, colossal swords its own thing, and then they just kind of group all the rest of the colossal weapons together as one thing, even though, like, you have so many different types of weapons there. Like, we use the Axe of Godfrey. You have hammers there. You got just, like, random big sticks there. And they're all just kind of together, whereas the swords get their own special category. But I think those will be fun. The giant crusher will be fun. Heaviest weapon in the game, I believe. There's just like, I think there's more to look forward to than like ones that are just kind of meh, like broadsword or short sword or long sword. Or dagger. Or like weapons with cool effects like the flying scarlet rod. Like all the crystallian stuff. The rod and crystallian stuff. Or like stuff with like split damage. Which uh, just makes things a little more interesting, I'd say, than pure physical damage. Like, oh yeah, torches might be fun. Certain torches might be fun. Certain ones might suck. Like all the fire ones are probably going to be pretty rough. But yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. So uh, I I can't wait. Yeah, like the runs can't come soon enough, man. It just sucks that it, the run takes so long because like I want to try. I want to keep doing other weapons, you know? I'm having fun with what I'm using, but I also, like, I love the idea of just using all these weapons, and unfortunately, these runs are long. Like, all the Remembrance weapons, I think, will be cool. Even if they're, like, not necessarily good, it's, like, they're unique. That's what I think is cool about them. I know that the Eritrea Burial Watchdogs have their own weapons. I don't know if they're, like, unique, but... Like, I know you can get this great sword. I think the... The staff one 
I think that's unique. Yeah, that was awful. Oh, that was like way more punishing than I was expecting. I hate this fight. This this one specifically because of the four imps in the room. The air tree barrel watch knife is whatever, you know? I don't mind that, but fighting that plus imps is just so annoying. They're all done. Should be able to stagger him pretty easily, I imagine. Uh, okay. Only one way here. Big bear time. I still have no idea how to fight this thing. What? Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay, no repost. Whatever. Don't need it. I think the reason, like, this part is so easy in New Game Plus is just that the game is way too long. <laughs> they have to, like, increase the scaling of everything obviously up to the end game right and then like they just didn't increase new game plus enough for it to be challenging relative to the end of new game i mean i don't know things still hit kind of hard but like not that hard and you hit pretty hard they should have just made everything scale to end game That would have been fun. I was running through Demon Souls again in New Game Plus, and oh my god, it's like... If you took Demon Souls as New Game Plus and put it in this game, you'd just basically get one shot by, like, everything. It's absurd how much damage enemies in Demon Souls NG Plus do.
It's like if you took all these enemies and just made them like snowfield difficulty in terms of damage. Not even health. Like you deal a lot of damage to the enemies in New Game Plus and Demon Souls, but the damage they just pump out is, is absolutely bonkers. Like this guy would two shot you. The first one would deal like 75% of your health and then the second one would just kill you with the second hit. It's that wild, and it, like it just, it's comical how... I can take like seven hits from this guy before I die. And he's dead. Staggered, bled, dead. Rested anchor, that should be a fun run. I think that's like an axe or something, oddly. Great axe, I want to say. Wow, you can definitely make that. I didn't know where I was supposed to jump to, though. So I went the wrong way. It would save a little bit of time. I did optimize a little more than... Like, I, I mentioned I did the Ordna... Uh, not the Ordna, the, the Mausoleum. Figured out a better way for that in the snowfield. A little more consistent anyway. Not 100% consistent probably, but, you know, fairly consistent. And then the other thing I did was the carry and study hall. I got a new way to save some time there, too. Might not make that. A little late. And I might not make this one. Oh. Yeah, if all goes well, we should be able to finish this run by Thursday. That would be like 13 hours total. Which is definitely doable. Just going off the last few runs. But Moog... Oh, I hate this guy. Moog and Reinhardt are going to be like the big walls. Bleed is gonna be really nice for both those fights, so. But I'm just thinking, like, what was bad of the Celebrant Sickle, right? Moe, Grank Hard, Magma Worms.
We might get to a magma room today, I don't know. Uh, where are we going? We're going... Ancient Hero. I need like a third monitor or something. I just, I really hate how easy like the beginning of Limgrave is in New Game Plus. They're not even Limgrave, it's like everything up until Altus. Altus is where it kind of picks up in difficulty. The Dragon Bear is hard, but that's more because everything can two-shot you than, like, you being weak. But, like, it's just, I don't know, it's a bummer. I think it makes it run less interesting. It doesn't force you to play well. That's the issue. You can play, like, very sloppy and still win, like, every fight. I'd say Altus is where it kind of, it gets a little more difficult, even if you have like 60 Vigor, because like enemies can actually do good damage to you there. Like things like the Tree Sentinel duo, Wormface can pretty much just kill you no matter how much health you have with the Death Blight. Um, Magma Worm can be kind of rough. Falling Star Beasts can be painful. And then past that, like, that's when you gotta really start to be concerned. Like, once you hit the mountaintops. This attack actually can hurt, because it just gets, like, spammed everywhere. But, I mean, other than that, it's, like, just a poison cloud. And maybe you get like slammed like that. It's like, yeah, oh no. So much damage. Like the difference between Leonine Misbegotten and the Misbegotten Crusader is just astounding. I think if you rest at this grace, Melon will show up, but I could be wrong. We're gonna try, because I kind of want to level. Also, I need to make it nighttime. Let's see. No? Alright. I know I got her to show up somewhere in the Weeping Peninsula on my first playthrough. Oh, wait, nighttime. But I don't know where. Might have been might have been the one near the bridge. I have to go back and look. I think these are going to be really annoying this playthrough just because I have, like, no range. And they move so fast. This one will be fine because it's easy, but, like, the later ones are going to suck.
That was actually a lot of damage. I'm shocked. Unless I got a bleed on me, because now he's not dealing anything. That mace looks sick, though. Flail. Dead? See, this one, he died. Why did he die? He fell off and died. That was like the first time in like two runs that's happened. Or three times. I don't know. Three runs, I mean. I don't know what triggers it. I wish I knew, though. All right, let's just do the death bird, then we'll get the golden seed. Oh, I have a tear? Oh yeah, I got the one from, uh, whatchamacallit. Near Okina. All right, let's see if we can get a nice stagger here. See if we can land a hit. Oh my god. Need 60k more runes and we'll be at six 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 sixes. Oh god. I don't think it's gonna happen though. This is an incredibly large castle. Like like it's just tall. Very tall. Are we good? No more. I still cannot believe Endure only lasts like three seconds. You get insane damage negation though, like 45%, I think it is. What I read. Which is a lot. I can I can understand why. I don't know why they made it. What I think they should have done is just like made it longer, but only allow you to take one attack. Although for PvP, I could see like that being an issue.
Only a nine, misbegotten. Probably a good enemy to test endure on, honestly. With how much he swings this thing. His sword. Imagine if he actually had the grafted uh, blade sword, whatever it is. Yeah. There's some attacks I know I could I could use it for, but not that one. It's like any of these ridiculously fast combos would be good. Oh, oh my god, that damage. See ya. Coastal cave. The very, very forgettable cave, to be honest. Because it's just so far away from, like, any other boss or dungeon. Like, after I do Leonine, in my mind, I always want to go to, uh... Mad Pumpkinhead. And, like, I just forget about this cave. If I wasn't looking at notes, I guarantee I would have missed this, like, a few times. Probably would have missed a lot of bosses, to be honest. That's what the notes are for. Actually, having splits, too, is something I thought about, but, like, if I change the boss order all the time, I don't... Uh, it'd be annoying to constantly change the splits. It would be kind of cool to see the time, but you can also see the time just based on the in-game time. So it's like, it's pretty much see that every time I quit out. like a maniac over here. I want to find a better way down to Patch's cave, too. There's got to be a better way. Like, this guy has no help. Like, give him some more health or something, you know?
Wait, he didn't die when he fell off the horse. Yeah, these things so far are really good. At least an NG+. Plus. But again, we're not really getting anything tough yet. I hate trying to get into this cave. Like trying to do it before the invader spawns. I, I just hate the quit outs. I think I gotta quit out one more time here. Yeah. All right. Water cave, actually. Yeah, no, we're gonna get the teleport thing. Oh, it's so loud. The first time I ran over those things, I had no idea what was going on. Thought it was like a sound from my computer. Because it was just so loud compared to the rest of the game. Uh, what happened to my lock on? Sorry, buddy. Guess I'll grab this just for the uh, potential stone sword key. I don't think I'm going to need it, but you know. Just in case. I still have three I can get from the Twin Maiden Husk, so. And plus I have like 13 or something right now. Uh, or 11. Well, I use two. So, that's why. All right, no horse, right? Because this part sucks. I might honestly like just reroute this whole section. You can get to this catacombs from High Road Cave. Oh, see, it's fine now, though. And, like, I thought it would take too long to get from High Road Cave down to here, but I, like, compared to coming from the Murkwater Cave. But I didn't account for the invader, I think, in my routing, because I, I probably routed it on a character that, like, had everything cleared. This is a very quick one. It's like you see the lever right there, and then the boss door's on the right. There. Somewhere. We haven't even leveled in New Game Plus yet. Like, this is just all from the base game. I didn't even level after Radagon. I completely forgot. We're still, like, 91. And over-leveled. You can get these hammers, but I'm pretty sure you don't get the chains. Maybe you do. I don't know. Be kind of sick.
I think they're going to be annoying to farm, though, because you pretty much have to do the ones in Langdell. I think there's, like, one. There's a battle axe guy and a hammer guy. Alright, tree sentinel, and then we can actually level once we get the gate front grace. I also have really good armor now that I think about it. Like, this is some of the best armor you can get in the game. Any bleed? No bleed. Do these guys not bleed? They might not. Oh, never mind. They bleed. That one was gonna hurt. Okay, Elena. Now we can level. Have they served you? I can put turning water aid you need to the foot of then it's set summon ah torrent. Treat him with Shall I let uh, them right. share them with me? Your thoughts. What is it? Fifty is the max? I don't even remember. The prince yeah, of fifty he would follow. Let's go faith. Almost to where we're going to cap it at 50. So this is pretty much as strong as we're going to get. Yeah, I don't think it's worth leveling strength. I could take this to 80, but like, I don't know. I don't know how worth it that would be. I'm just gonna get 40, 50, 50 endurance, 60 vigor, and I'll probably be the end of leveling. Um, what are we at then, 103? So we'll finish like around 130 or something. 134. Maybe just oh you know I do I did want to do mind I planned for thirty mind, um, in case we need bestial vitality for Rikard. Dude, where is this Ember Jail? It's like way over here, right? Oh my god, I wish I had a map right now. I I think I oh no it's way way over here. Okay, thought I was on the wrong side for a second. I don't think these guys bleed. Oh, 
Wait, am I one handing right now? Can't tell. How'd that happen? at all. Oh my god. Oh, I rolled like into the end of that move. Because the rolls were timed right, just if you're in the wrong spot, he's going to hit you. Waiting for the tail. I'm pretty sure that the Evergel is actually what's giving those guys, like, the color. Like, if you were to take that Crucible Dine or any of the Evergel bosses out of the Evergel and, like, a randomizer, they would look normal. And if you took, like, another boss and put it in the Evergel, it would look like that. With that weird, like, I don't know, it's like the weird shine and the shade of blue. I'm very much looking forward to a randomizer, and we're, we're going to do that soon. Kind of. Two two more runs after this one, and then then we'll do it. And then once that randomizer's over, then I'm going to throw the Souls games in. At least DS1 through 3. Not Demon Souls yet. I need a capture card. Plus, like, there's no rush to do Demon Souls or Bloodborne, because there's just not that many weapons. So, like, even if I did throw them in somewhere like you'd never see them it's going to be mainly Elden Ring DS3 and DS2 with some DS1 sprinkled in there like Elden Ring has 300 weapons DS2 and DS3 have like 200 something each and then Dark Souls 1 is about 150 I want to say or 140 so, it, there's a lot, but there's definitely less than DS2 and 3. Demon's Souls is like 76. And I think some of those playthroughs are going to really suck. Like, Broken Sword is going to be pretty terrible. There's some other ones where, like, your weapon just doesn't do any damage. And you gotta get through NG+. Plus. Part of the challenge, though. Like, the crossbow only are gonna suck. There's three crossbows in Demon Souls. You can't upgrade any of them. Only one gets scaling. And it scales with intelligence. So, like, that's gonna be a nightmare. Bloodborne, I think, will be pretty fun. Because, like, all the weapons are good in Bloodborne.
And those runs will be longer too, just because I don't know the game as well. So just like actually getting through a run is going to take a while just because I'm not going to know exactly where to go or uh, like how to necessarily fight the bosses as well as I can in these games. I'll probably do like another practice run or something before I actually play it though, just so I can get a little more familiar with it. But I think it'll be a good change of pace instead of just doing Elden Ring for, you know, 300 weapons in a row. I think it'll help prevent a little bit of burnout. That's a nice thing, having like five different games to go back between. It will be six, six games. Oh my God, why are you so tough to hit? Oh, my, really? That's a DS2 thing where, like, the attack is done and the sword is just hanging out and the hitbox is still there. Like, that happens all the time in DS2. Alright, let me take a look at my notes. Where are we, uh... Before we go anywhere, because I can't remember where to go. Warmaster Shack? Didn't miss anything. Crucible Knight, Groveside Cave, Stormfoot Catacombs. It's really nice when you can just go on autopilot and... Like, that's not where I wanted to go. It's fine, though. But yeah, go on autopilot and just, like, go the right way. Yeah, the Demon Souls runs are going to be fun and terrible at the same time. Because of New Game Plus's difficulty. Even Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 are pretty tough in New Game Plus. Not as tough as Demon Souls, but... Like, Demon Souls is like going to New Game Plus 7 in this game. New Game Plus in Demon Souls. Like, that's how much of a difference it is. Alright, are we good? Oh, you know what? I should just buy... This. In case I want the other Starfist. I gotta talk to him again. The sequence is weird. It's like you have to talk to him, make it nighttime, rest after it's nighttime, talk to him again, and then do it. Wait, is it? It's nighttime, right? It is nighttime. There's nothing else to talk to you about. Why is this not working? I don't know, man. Oof. 
Why is the range so bad? Like, I, I know it's a fist weapon. But, like, still. It feels like it's worse than it should be. <laughs> and it's supposed to be pretty bad, so... Uh, where are we going? Over here? All right, no trolls, please, in the fight. Hi, Torrent. I, I, I would like to get off of Torrent, please. I'm, like, aggressively trying to get off Torrent, it just won't let me. One more R2. There we go. Oh boy. I just died. It's right here. There's also I like I there has to be a faster way to this catacombs too. Maybe like up some rocks or something. I refuse to believe there isn't a faster way than going all the way around here and dropping down. But I think, I, yeah, I definitely think Demon Souls will have the most interesting runs as far as, like, being different every time. This one, I think, is the least just because there's so many bosses. There's a lot of good meme potential, though, with some weapons. Um, but, like, Demon Souls is just going to be wacky, man, like, with world and character tendencies and doing things in a specific way every time. Like, weapons that, you know, you have to have, like, pure black character tendency for to maximize the damage, or pure white character tendency. It's like... Or, like, changing world tendencies to get certain weapons. Making them harder or easier in New Game Plus. I think that's what I'm looking forward to with Demon's Souls the most. Is like just the the variety is gonna be like way higher as far as how the run plays out. Even if, like, in this run, I guess, we can use as an example. Even if I was going to go to the capital first, I would probably do Godric and then either Renala or Radon, and then just go to the capital and get the other Starfist. But, like, the rest of the run is pretty much the same. Like, the order of the bosses is pretty much the same because there's just so many. You're not really going to change much. If you're doing, like, all remembrances, maybe it would actually wouldn't change anything. But, um... Yeah, Demon Souls would be very interesting because, like, you might do, like, a certain world before you do... You might do, like, World 3 before you do World 1 or World 2 before World 3 or World 5 before World 2. You know, like, it's... I think gonna have the most variety. Bloodborne and DS3, I feel like, are gonna be way more linear. DS2 and DS1 will have less linearity, too, I'd say, just because... 
You have uh, more places you can go from the start. But Royal Tendency, man, that's a... That's gonna kill me. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Royal Tendency is gonna be... Just... I, I, interesting. It's gonna make things a little more interesting. And character tendency and all that stuff. Like, I'll have to plan more, I think, in Demon Souls than I would on the other runs. Actually, Dark Souls 1, too, because of the upgrade paths. Oh, that's another thing. Like, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1, the upgrade paths are just so different. In this game, it's just like... Smithing Stone or Somber Smithing Stone, and it's kind of the same in PS2 and 3. You know, it's like Twinkling Titanite or regular Titanite, or, or I guess Titanite Scales, too, or Dragon Bones in uh, PS2. Bloodborne, I think, is literally just the same. It's just, uh... Blood Rocks or whatever the hell it is. Shards? I don't remember what they're called. But, like, every weapon, it's, it's the same. I think where Bloodborne will be fun is interweaving Chalice Dungeons with, uh... the bosses. In new, in new game, I guess? I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I mentioned it, like, a while ago, but... Bloodborne chalices are going to be done at, like, specific weapon levels. So, like, layer one will be done at plus two, no higher than plus two. So you have to do it early. Basically, to not make the chalice dungeon is a joke. Even though the later ones are going to be tough anyways. There is one that's gonna suck though. I don't remember what the weapon is, but like, there's a weapon you get in like layer five of the chalice dungeons. I wanna say it's the beast claw, but that might not be right. But whatever it is, the plan for that run is to do all the chalice dungeons all the way to layer five and then repeat all of them with that weapon. So like you pretty much are gonna see like copies of almost every chalice dungeon. Again, in that run. Where are we going? Limgrave Tunnels, right? But this is how much I want to know the runs. It's like, to the point where I don't have to even think about what I have to do in fights. Like, it's all just going to be, like, muscle memory. Because I've literally been on autopilot since we started NG+. Maybe, like, Grafted Scion I kind of paid attention to, but, like, everything else has just been autopilot. For the most part. But yeah, I'm in no rush to add... Bloodborne or Demon Souls to the mix. Just because, like, I, I need a capture card. If I had a capture card, I'd throw them in, but... Like, there's just so many weapons in the Souls games in this game that, like, there's no need. Not yet, anyway. But I don't know, maybe I get, a, like, a huge urge to play either one of them, Bloodborne or Demon Souls, and uh, then I'll order a capture card and add those to the mix. But I gotta get used to running uh, DS2 and DS3 and DS, like all of them again, just because this run is like, I think fairly quick for the amount of bosses, at least the way I'm doing it. You know, you can get it down even faster, I'm sure, if you're speed running it with glitches, which I'm pretty much doing. I don't think any glitches, like parkour in some places, but no glitches. Um, But like, this is, you know, I guess for the way I'm doing it, like, 
pretty fast and like DS2 I could probably do only slightly faster than this and that's got like a quarter of the bosses so I gotta get faster in those games because you know we'll just get done faster with all these it's gonna take a long time it's gonna take years to do all this you know, by the next time From Software releases like second of their souls like, it's probably won't even be done. And then we'll have another who knows how many weapons to do from a new game. <laughs> 